Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Welcome back everyone, this is case number 15 of RS series in radiology. Today our case is 70 year old male patient who is a heavy smoker presented with hemoptysis. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of skeletal mature male patient. So the abnormality is in the right apical region and there is a homogeneous ill-defined homogeneous opacity margins are ill-defined however lower margin is clearly seen upper margins are ill-defined and uh, it's a homogeneous opacity no air bronchogram no air fluid level no calcification so cavitations in that region and uh, there is evidence of volume loss due to shifting of trachea to the right side and tenting of the diaphragm upward tenting so there is some sort of a volume loss or associated collapse in this region and uh, there is destruction of the first rib subtle destruction of the first rib you can see so it's a invasive lesion invasive lesion it's an invasive lesion or oh, aggressive lesion and uh, no evidence of pleural effusion no pneumothorax no synchronous lesions as uh, in the right lung and also in the left lung no evidence of hilar masses no cardiomegaly and uh, so in this case the diagnosis is pancos tumor or oh, right typical tumor formerly known as uh, superior sulcus tumors so they occur in the apical region of the upper lobes pancos tumors so they are mainly uh, histologically squamous cell carcinomas. So differential diagnosis for these kind of ones, uh, consolidations, or pneumonias can occur, or sometimes collapse of lungs, collapse and consolidations, they are uh, less severe entities. And also you need to think of uh, pleural base lesion. Pleural base lesions like uh, mesothelioma and uh, in TB pleural thickening, epical pleural thickening. Sometimes uh, ancestral diffusions also appear like this and retrosternal goiters can appear like this. So, these are uh, few differential diagnoses. In consolidations, patient has fever and air bronchograms in the chest x-ray. And in the collapse, there is significant volume loss. And usually there is a golden S sign. Golden S sign is there in collapse in right upper loop. Oh, this, so, this is a mass one. So, pancos tumor with... Uh, segment probably segmental collapse on the line and uh, invasion of the ribs so uh, next investigation of this one is contrast and CT just including the upper abdomen to see the adrenal deposits and also since the there's involvement of the or invasion of the first rib you need to look for any uh, 
brachial plexus invasion especially lower trunk so in the CT chest if there's uh, brachial plexus involvement then you have to go for an MRI to see the involvement of the brachial plexus so that concludes case number 15 of RS series so please subscribe our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this